Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Prop Circles 2. This is my last flight of the Dolphin. I think I pretty much narrowed it down. The Dolphin Pro, I'm running 7.1.1 iNav. Uh, my settings will probably be able to revert over to 8.1. Um, I narrowed down the oscillation problem. Um, in this video here, I am doing a auto-tune. Um, the auto-tune is done a lot different than all the older versions. Um, you don't just bang the sticks off of each corner. Um, you do one side for like 15 to 20 seconds. Left side all the way 15, 20 seconds and so on and so forth. So in this video, you're just pretty much going to see me, uh, you know, bobbing the plane left to right. You know, rolling the plane left to right, full rolls. You can see how well it rolls and this is unstabilized video this is a DJI 03 this is in 4k um, I'm just flying out I'm running a 1300 kV motor with a 9 4.5 prop full uh, throttle probably doing roughly about I would have to say about 70 miles an hour and I was pulling only about 15 amps. So, this is, so the, and it's a 4S. So this is probably a good cruising uh, setup. This is not going to be for like hardcore. You can see this is return to home, and she's not bobbing up and down. Uh, I was testing it. I was doing auto tune through this whole entire flight. Um, you see me go left and right. I think I even fly inverted a couple times. And like I said, I'll tell you my setup again. Um, from the from the front to back I'm running a DJI 03 in the nose I'm running a 4500 50C 4S battery I'm running a Speedy B F405 wing uh, flight controller I'm using HDLRC GPS M100 love that love that GPS I use it in a lot of my planes I'm using a, a Express LRS HDLRC I'm running the Sunny Sky 2 uh, 1300 kV motor. Uh, I think it is a it is the M the MK2 uh, X2216-7 uh, motor. It's a ZOHD motor. And it comes in on the I believe it comes in on the Dart XL and also the Talon GT, um, and that's what I'm using in this video. Uh, it flew extremely well. Um, the winds here were roughly about four miles an hour, and then I had a uh, gust up about nine to eleven miles an hour. Um, when you're flying at 45 miles an hour and you get gusts, it's in the plane. I mean, the plane only does like 70. So if you're going into the wind and you get gusts of wind, it, it pushes the plane around. I mean, this plane is really pretty much designed for a 6S setup. I mean, I, you could probably do a 5S setup on a 1300 kV with an 8x6 prop and a thing would rip. Uh, absolutely for sure. Um, I still might end up going with a different motor. Uh, I might be trying to like, uh, I didn't try the 1400 KV. I do have a blue motor. I might try that since now I got the plane pretty much dialed in. I um, could probably do a little bit more fine tuning with it, but I pretty much got it dialed in, which is my liking. Um, the yaw works extremely well. Like I said, this video is going to be all over the place because I'm tuning the plane. This is like my fifth time flying the plane with iNav 7.1.1 and, uh, Work, I was working on a lot of the settings. I still had a very little amount of oscillation on the first flight I had. And this is my last flight of the evening. And I dialed out the oscillation, which I was really stoked. I think a little bit more speed if I had in a plane. If it did like 100 miles an hour, I had a little bit more torque. I bet you it would probably be really smooth and flying. I'm really pretty sure that this plane likes to be flown pretty fast. But for, like, cruising, uh, you can do it 60 miles an hour, no problem. Like I said, I was only pulling 15 amps, and now it's full throttle, wide open. And uh, I was doing, like, almost 70 miles an hour. And then 
going with the wind I was pushing almost 90 but as you can see here in this video there is no oscillation I'm gonna tell you that right now uh, a lot of this is just putzing around um, I did uh, Return to home several times. I also did cruise mode a couple times. I know my cruise mode speeds a little low, which I got to turn that up a little bit. But I mean, if anybody wants this, um, the setup that I have, you know, the the pids and all that, and how it's set up, I can definitely upload them somewhere and let everybody have them. Um, and the pits might work for your setup, like if you're running like a 6S setup or something like that. Um, but not everything in my in my configure, my, my default, a lot of that's not going to pertain to you. Especially if you're using a different type of flight controller. Um, and like all your ports, your outputs and your servos and stuff like that. Uh, I'm using a Metal Gear servo, but I'm using standard servos. Uh, I'm not using digital servos. I um, mean, if you're flying like a high-powered jet plane and you needed like digital servos for the speed and response, I would say yeah. But I, I run as a standard servo. Uh, there's a lot to do with, you know, different the digital and the analog servos. There's a difference in both of them, a big difference in both of them, and I'm not going to get into that. You guys could look it up on YouTube or whatnot and find out about it. I like running, you know, analog servo. Some of my planes I have digital. But they are Metal Gear Zero servo, and they're pretty decent servos. Like this whole flight, I was really excited. This was this was at the end of the night. The flight before this, I ended up coming in a little too hot and ended up snapping my prop off, which um, I'm known to do that. My son always says that's all I do is break props because I come in too fast and usually don't cut the, the throttle down enough until I land so I come in pretty hot and then I drop the throttle and kind of like scoot across the ground and snap the prop and it's typical but anyway I'm really happy with this tune I, I sorry for everybody keeping everybody waiting um, I just been doing a lot of work on this I have other planes I want to fly but I was trying to get this plane to fly you know really really good and like I said I'm really really happy uh, with my auto launch, uh, I'm happy with uh, the way it flies. I'm still using uh, rudder vaders on the tail. I'm using uh, yaw plus pitch just on the tail. And I'm using regular ailerons on the wings. Um, you, I, you don't need to mix those two. I mean, if you want, that's fine. A lot of couple videos out there, people are using um, elevons instead of the ailerons which are doing the mix between the tail and the wings i don't think it's necessary to be honest with you i have no problems uh with my tail at all um with my with a v tail running uh rudder vader um and i'm also still running at uh my reflex is still at four which i said in the beginning when i first started doing this um, i might end up bumping it up to five um, just because I want to try it out, see where it's at. I'm just going to kind of like fine tune it now, like really, really fine tune it to where I, I'm liking it. But like, I'm not a pilot that does like freestyle. I like to go long range cruise, return to home and just so the plane flies really good. I'm not really worried about, you know, ripping it and doing freestyle upside down and doing like just, just crazy stuff. I, I just like to cruise mess around fly behind trees and stuff fly low to the ground so like i said it's really really dialed in now and i i deeply appreciate everybody you know being patient with me a lot of people have been asking for my pids i kind of shot away from 8.1 but i'm pretty darn sure that if you take these pids that i have in 7.11 they're going to work the same way in 8.1 uh, i just went back to 7.1.1 because a lot of people were heard a lot of people complaining about 8.1 about the oscillation and I pretty much narrowed the oscillation down and uh, if you've seen in the beginning uh, auto launch was perfect I've never had a bad auto launch ever since I had the plane uh, my auto launch settings are perfect uh, the servos are dialed in perfect uh, tails dialed in perfect um, my expos and everything you could look at them and like if you end up 
you know, using my diff. Uh, definitely do your own auto tune once you get it to, on there and it's flying pretty good for you. Definitely do your own auto tune because everybody's playing is different. Not everybody's playing is the same. That's why if you notice, you won't find a plane uh, ready to fly from like uh, Sonic Models or ZOHD or Atom RC. You'll never find a plane that's ready to fly is because every plane is different. Every plane needs to be set up differently. It throws and styrofoam and just everything is totally different. Uh, people might not agree with me on that, but every plane is a different plane. And especially if you have different servos and you have digital servos. So I would say is definitely you can use my diff. Uh, if you guys want it, I'll definitely upload it. Um, it definitely will get you flying in the air. Just make sure all your servos and everything, your level and manual mode. Um, and if you're running a 1300 kV motor, uh, your settings for auto launch is going to be higher because it needs more power for takeoff. So if you're going to use a 6S setup, um, you're probably going to want to uh, drop them down uh, for your auto launch because you're going to just have way too much speed. I usually kind of do like a th like a 300 uh, jump in between your launch setting to your full power up setting. Uh, so, just for instance, if you have 1500 as your launch idle, your throttle, when you're first throwing it, it's like 1500, then you would be 1800. So, that's how I usually do it. So, this way you'll get that torque twist. Um, you can also do it to like 250 in between. That just gives you guys some pointers and tips. But, uh, sorry to uh, ramble on here, but I just wanted to give everybody a heads up. This flight went extremely well. As you can see, I'm landing here. I'm all done. This was my fifth or sixth flight today. And she is tuned up pretty good. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you ain't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Take care, guys.